Hi everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf. Thank you very much for checking out the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to Dubai. I'm here based at the Pete Cowan Golf Academy at Jumeirah Golf Estates. If you are new to the channel or if you're kind of a frequent visitor but you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. It makes a massive, massive difference to the videos that we can put out and obviously how often they can go out as well. So please do hit that subscribe button just below. Um, today's video is all about chipping using the balance of a wedge but also i'm going to hit a couple of shots where i want maybe to look at being able to adapt different types of shots as well but the first thing we're going to do is talk about how to use the bounce on your wedges i've got a 58 degree i'm in the fairway fairways around this golf course are notoriously short of grass now not because we can't grow grass just because they're cut so tight so it does make chipping i would say chipping for the the average golfer, really difficult. It's one of the things we teach a lot at the academy. Yeah, we can hit the ball further, we can hit the ball straighter, but we always end up in a similar situation anyway where we've missed the green. We have to be able to, I mean, I think that the rule number one is chipping two putts. From there, we do not want to be two chip, uh, double chipping or having more than two putts, okay? So, a couple of fundamentals we're gonna talk through in terms of setup. One of the key things here is to use the bounce, ball position. I would like to see the ball position slightly, slightly forward in the stance, okay? So that's gonna complement just perfectly the swing path that we're gonna be producing. One of the key things I see for golfers is the shaft of the club coming too much on the inside. You see where that shaft now is pointing relative to my target, it's pointing way off to the right hand side. Also the, the height of the club head, it's very low, so I call it a very shallow position. For golfers that kind of pull the club back inside here, very easy to kind of hit into the ground first or to not hit the ground at all and maybe thin or top it. Swing, um, swing path is extremely important for quality of strike. So I like to see the ball position slightly forward and then trying to keep the club head just slightly on the outside of the hands. You can see the club head here in comparison to this one. My hands haven't moved in terms of the length that they've swung, but the club head is very, very different. We've gone from a, a shallow, low club head position to a kind of a higher, steeper position. That means the club can now work down into the back of the ball. And we start to, yeah, we create spin, but the quality of the strike is gonna be so much more consistent. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna play a couple of holes as we go. I'm just gonna go pretend I've missed the green, probably did. And we're gonna to work on a few different types of chips. So that's the technique we're gonna be looking at. Ball position slightly forward, keeping the club there on the outside of the hand, and making sure we rotate through the shot. You'll notice that even when I hit my shot, I'm gonna be fully facing the target. Now this is a 20 yard pitch shot. I don't need power, but this is all about the momentum through the ball, okay? Let's see how we do. Not bad. It's very different now. I can hit down into the back of the ball. A little bit of check spin. Pretty good shot. I've got the height. But I also made sure I got my strike. I used, I let the club work on the outside of my hands, I had the ball position forward, and I used my body rotation. Let the, let the hips and the shoulders follow the club on the way back and on the way through. Try to make sure the timing's good, gotta make sure the setup's perfect. We are putting a little bit of weight slightly favored into that left hand side. Hands, we don't want to see the hands leaning forward here. If you can guess why, shout it at the screen now. But if I put my shaft lead too far forward, I've, li I've lost the bounce, I've lost the back of the golf club, and I'm, I'm only using this leading edge. So if I put the shaft too far forward, club just digs and we catch it heavy. So we've got to be careful that the shaft of the club is not leaning too much towards the target. Again, decent little shot. The strike was good. It landed on a down slope and it's got some backspin. Probably the best shot I actually hit then. Also works from rough. Now I'm going to try and figure out where to land the ball. So keeping the club head on the outside of my hands, keeping the weight towards my left hand side, and just making sure the hips and the shoulders work with the club, okay? Question is, why did that come out so much higher? I'm not on a tight line, I'm on rough. The ball is sat up. If I even just let it bounce, not into my foot mark, just let it bounce. Okay, just sits up a little bit easier than on, the, on those tight lies. 
going to maintain the loft on the club face, keep the club on the outside of my hands, weight forward, turn the hips and shoulders. Ball slides, club slides under the ball. Perfect little shot for it to land down that slope as well. So picking my landing area, landing it just onto the front edge of the green. Oh. Same again. Club on the outside of my hands. Have that little rehearsal before you hit the shot. Don't let the club come inside here. Weight forward, ball position forward, outside of my hands, turn my hips and shoulders together. Another good shot. Consistency with the quality of the strike. We know what we're going to expect every single time. Ball's not going to spin as much coming out of the rough. Grass gets stuck between club head and ball. Same again. Little rehearsal. Weight forward, ball position forward. Club on the outside of the hands. Hips and shoulders turn together with the club. And another good shot. Okay, back with the lob wedge here by the side of one of the greens. Now, let's be fair, we'd most, most golfers watching this now would put it. I'm just demonstrating this as a lob wedge from a very tight lie. And I'm doing this just because it's a much shorter swing. So just to show you it kind of works for the, for the shorter shots as well. First, I think I need to apologize. I'm not even sure if it's even gonna make a difference on the video, but the background noise. We've got construction and we've got lawn mowers. Perks of Dubai, eh? Okay, so hopefully the audio is okay. So we're going to be stick, sticking with the same technique here for these first two shots. Ball position forward, club stays on the outside of the hands, making sure the body rotates with the club, okay? The last two balls are going to show you something slightly different. Okay, so ball position forward. And birds as well. Ball positions forward, weights forward, club's going to stay on the outside of the hands, body's going to turn. Decent shot, lovely little bit of check spin, just that strong slope. Wowza, <laughs> misread. But again, the quality of the strike was pretty good. You can see quite a lot of turf came up in and around the ball there. So this shows it's quite a, it's quite a grainy, grainy lie. So you have to be really, you have to be absolutely perfect with the quality of the shot. Ball position forward again, club on the outside of the hands, let the hips and the shoulders turn together. We've got to go. Perfect little strike again. Lovely little bit of check spin as it held heads down and again missed it on the wrong side. But again, see how much grass comes up with the with the um, with the way this is all set up in Dubai. It's such a it's grainy kind of you hit a tiny bit of grass before the ball and everything just explodes around this. So what I'm going to show you here for a lot of the golfers that do have to deal with this sort of grass, we just kind of make an adjustment. It's, even if you're in the UK. The, the really bare lies you get. You've got no space under the grass. So what I like to try and do, and that's what I like to teach a lot of, is the back foot shot. I've got a lob wedge. So I'm using the lob wedge because when I put the ball off my back foot, I'm gonna de-loft the club quite a lot. I'm gonna de-loft it so it comes out lower. It's gonna bounce a couple of times, skid, and then it's gonna check and a little bit of release. So if I go down the club as well, it's just gonna come off even flatter and even faster. So I've got a lob wedge. So it reduces the loft off the back foot. And I'm really just making sure the club, again, stays on the outside of the hand, stays steep so we can hit down into the ball. We can't end up in here, otherwise we're gonna hit the ground before the ball. So back foot, I've got a, quite a lot of shaft lean, but I've really gotta make sure now the hands get, the club gets the ball first. That come out much lower, and now it's just kind of chasing across the green. And to be perfectly honest, that is pretty good. Actually still rolling to the left though. These greens are rapido. Okay, so again, ball position right on the back foot, shaft lean onto my left thigh, weight on my front foot, club stays on the outside of the hands again. And we've got that kind of flight, more flighty shot, more penetrating flight, lower flight, couple of strong bounces, bit of check, and as it releases up to the hole. Wow, that pin position is actually impossible to get to. Four very good shots. There's a huge kind of gully to the left of the flag, it's just gone down there. But you can read you can read greens as you go. You just see though how much grass kind of comes up in and around these kind of chip shots here in Dubai. But it's something that you can kind of take to whether you're in the UK, America, wherever you are. If you've got the bare lie, put the ball towards a backy stance. But one key fundamental for all the chip shots so far is that the club's going to stay on the outside of your hands. You can't let it get flat. If it gets flat, it gets low. If it gets low, it hits the ground first or thins it. 
keeping the club here on the outside of the hands, get the shaft of the club steeper. Use your body, use your hips, your chest and your shoulders to then start to rotate through the shot for better, more consistent ball striking. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tip. Please, please do hit that subscribe button if you've not already subscribed. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're, lots of golf tips are going to be coming from the golf course. Also, course vlogs are back. So I've got a couple of matches set up with some local pros as well. So lots of fun content, hopefully, and some informative content coming your way. Social media platforms as well. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and even LinkedIn. So please do follow me on those. It's Carter's Golf. Guys, thank you very much for watching from a sunny Dubai here in winter. See you soon.